We're going to look at... In these two videos, we're going to be looking at the filing vise. Filing vise, this one is intended for the BAM box at the Abana Conference in Saratoga of this year, 2020. And my thanks go to Rod Plew for supplying the original. In the first video, we're going to look at this, the lower jaw. The lower jaw has got all the detail pieces on it. It has the recess for the spring and the two outside knuckles, the center knuckle being on the upper jaw. The spring is going to be comprised of a piece of round bar that is flattened and that should just fit into that recessed area. We're going to look at the lower jaw first. To create the mass that we need for the jaw and for the vice stop, we're going to do a nick, fold and weld, which means we're going to have to upset here to resist the uh, blows of the hammer when we blend the weld in. I marked up about two and seven eighths of an inch. I've tapered the end, which is going to do two things. It's going to start the uh, process for the scarf and it's going to stabilize the upset. I'm going to heat this. I'm going to quench out, leaving about an inch and a half or so of hot material and upset this for one heat. Then with the center punch down, I'm going to scarf the material and get ready to nick fold and then weld.
For the spring and the hinge, firstly I've followed in a half round groove for the spring. When I dress the edges, that's going to steepen those sides, so then I can drive in a piece of flat bar to get a nice steep sided recess for the spring. The hinge is going to be a three knuckle affair and I'm putting the, both the outside knuckles on this, the inside or the lower jaw. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a weak spot in the bar and I get that just by putting a center punch, sorry, a slot punch in the middle there. Just drive it in from one side, don't clear the slug out and then roll your hinge. That's going to create a weak point in the bar and then when you've cut down with your hacksaw it should just push out no problem at all. When making the bends for the jaw, you might find that a 3 8 bottom fuller is a, a good thing to have. I'm going to use the edge of the anvil because we've all got that, but you can see that the 3 8 bottom fuller just gives a nice thing to bend the material around with plenty of clearance.
once we've got the lower jaw roughed out we need to make a drawing so for me I like to put a hole in a piece of tin plate I can put a drift in place lock that in and I'm going to scribe across the inside of the vise and the top of the jaws bottom of the vise stop I'm going to turn the whole thing over I'm going to do exactly the same inside top of the jaws bottom of the vice stop draw the vice stop across and what I have now is a drawing that I can offer up the upper jaw in any orientation and the drawing is going to work for me